Right then, UX305LA versus Surface Pro 3. This is a quick and dirty video to really test uh, thermals and long-term load performance on these two devices. Um, I'm gonna kick the test off straight away and then I'll explain what's happening on these two devices. So on the right, we've got the Surface Pro 3, Haswell Core i5. On the left, we've got the, the new Asus UX305 on Core i7, the Broadwell. Core i7. Uh, of course this is a laptop design, this is a tablet design and one of the problems I've been having with the Surface Pro 3 is that it gets too hot and starts throttling back. Um, that happens about after about four minutes of rendering out uh, HD video and, um, and it drops right down to sort of 1.8 uh, gigahertz when it should be running at 2.4. Now if I just bring that up you'll see it's running at 2.58 gigahertz right now and on this one, I've got this in high power mode, running at 2.7 gigahertz. That's, that's about the limit for the dual core turbo boost. Uh, this is a connected standby device, so you can't set it into high power mode. It just does it automatically. It just controls, it basically depends on thermals. So as you can see already, this is way ahead of the Surface Pro 3. Now if I have a look, see how much it's rendered. It's rendered about one minute 12, and this has rendered 43 seconds of the video. Now let's just see how much PowerDirector thinks, and of course, same version of PowerDirector, same files, same uh, build. Um, we've got Windows 10 here, Windows 8 here. That's about the only difference between the, the two setups. On the Surface Pro 3, it thinks we've got five, what, crikey, I can't even read that. <laughs> 8 minutes 33 on this 4 minutes 31 left can you um you see that Let's, I don't know if it's going to get in focus there so that's showing me that's showing me 8 minutes 7.55 this mm, 3 minutes 42 it's done nearly a half this is done nearly a quarter so this is, for me, money saving. This is going to save me, if I'm doing my notebook check rendering, my, note, my videos for notebook checking, I'm doing one a, one a day now, and this is gonna save me maybe five minutes on the render every time. If I go to a, a trade show and I'm running 10, 15 videos a day, it's, it's gonna save me 20 minutes of rendering time. Um, although there's some paralyzing you can do with writing an article while it's rendering in some cases. But this really demonstrates not only that this is going to save me money and time, but that the laptop design is often better to get to pull the most out of a CPU. And I really want to see the Surface Pro 3 drop down to 1.6 gigahertz. It happens after, it's already it's dropped down. Can you see the slow tail off of the CPU speed there? It's down to 2.2 and you should see it drop right down to 1.6 if it heats up, maybe it's not, yeah, it's getting quite warm. There we go, 1.8, that's dropped 1.6 there, it's just happened. So that is now thermally constrained. This one is still chugging away at 2.7. At this point, this is, what, 60, 70% more CPU, and on a per clock basis, this CPU is actually faster anyway. And um, what we should see, let's just put the task managers away is that that is racing through nicely. It thinks it's done, gonna be done in two minutes, 33. And this thinks it's gonna take um, four minutes, two minutes 38. Although it's stuck, it's doing an actual uh, CPU based overlay now. That takes a lot of processing power. That is still happening there. That's actually gone up to four minutes now. 4 minutes 33 seconds. This one's running at 2 minutes 27 seconds. And now it's gone through to a pure quick sync section. And that is, the time is dropping there quickly. 2 minutes 23, 4 minutes 36. Right. I think that's pretty clear. I'd like, I'm going to leave this running actually so that uh, we actually see exactly how much time it's going to save me by the end. Let's put the task managers up. But I think we've already proven that. Oh, well, that was the other thing, actually. Both these things, both these devices cost similar 
amounts of money. This is 1,100 euros worth of Ultrabook here. This is about 1,000 euros worth of Surface Pro 3 and keyboard. Uh, obviously not the Surface Pro 4. We could be talking slightly different thermals on the Surface Pro 4, although this the design on the Surface Pro 4 is pretty much the same. The thermal area inside is pretty much the same. Still stuck at 1.88 gigahertz here. Here we are at 2.78, way more processing power going in, into it here. Um, yeah, so for the same price, roughly a thousand euros, you're getting a whole lot more processing power here. I also want to mention, yeah, 42 watt hour battery on the Surface Pro 3. 52 watt hour battery on the 305. Now, uh, the bigger screen probably going to take a little bit more power in terms of backlighting, but you don't need backlighting when you're rendering. And uh, the fact that it's still clocking very highly means it's actually taking more power right now than the Surface Pro 3. So, in terms of battery life, it probably evens itself out. You probably need that extra. 10 20 percent uh, battery actually it's it is 20 percent more isn't it uh to to really push yourself through the the day a day of work i generally get through a day of work of video editing with the surface pro 3 without um charging you know maybe topping up occasionally uh, depends on the number of videos but i think this will be about the same but it'll just get stuff done quicker that's the thing right we're coming to the end of the render so i'm just going to take the task managers down and you'll see where we've got to. This is going to be finished in around 45 seconds. This is going to take another 3 minutes 45 seconds. So that's saving me 3 minutes of my time over a render that only is taking 10 minutes. So it's taking, it's saving me 30% um, of my time. So 30% faster over that render, which is quite impressive. Come on, let's just see that go through to the end. And by the way, it got a 87% score at Notebook Check. This is a really, really nice Ultrabook. Um, I've got 30 seconds to tell you that it's got 8 gigs of RAM in it, 256 gigs of very fast SSD. That is just finished now in 8 minutes, 25 seconds. This, sorry, in 7 minutes, 14 seconds. This one is going to take another three minutes at least to render out. Uh, nice keyboard. In fact, you'll actually see one difference there. This has got backlit keyboard on the touch cover or type cover. This doesn't have a backlit keyboard. It's the only thing about this that uh, annoys me. Full SD card slot, micro SD card slot, three uh, USB ports, one USB port, HDMI out, display port out. Um, yeah, that's about the main difference. Full HD screen. Uh, yeah, let's see. 1610, uh, 1620 by 1080 screen. Matte, non touch, of course. So I'm giving up the touch, I guess, uh, which I do enjoy on the Surface Pro 3, I have to admit. 1.3 kilograms, 1 kilogram. So you've got 300 grams or 30% more weight for 30% more power on that rendering. Um, so uh, you have to think about those things, but I really like this, and I think, I think that um, I would like one of these <laughs> rather than a Surface Pro 4. I think it's going to be better value. That uh, specification in a Surface Pro 4 is fifteen hundred dollars with the two fifty six gig and the Core i seven. Uh, yeah, okay, they're going to get the Skylake generation, which will have a few more bits and bobs. There's a bit. Better actually, there's a, there's a better media processor in the Skylake than, than Broadwell, so maybe the Surface Pro 4 would be a bit faster, but you're going to save yourself about four or five hundred dollars or euros. That's going to take a while to finish. So let's wrap up this video. As I said, dirty video, but it was an important one I wanted to do because I've just written uh, a little bit of a review about the Asus UX305 on umpcportal.com and on notebookcheck.net. I've put up an overview review video of it as well, and I just really wanted to do that test as soon as I could. Thanks for watching. My name's Chippy. UMCPortal.com is the website. I'm doing my videos on the Notebook Check Review channel on YouTube, so you can check that out. Please subscribe there. That will be um, giving you early heads up on some of the videos we do before the full English reviews go out, so um, bear that in mind.
Thumbs up on this video if you liked it. Feedback is welcome. What do you think about the Surface Pro 4? What do you think about the Core i7 Asus UX305 LA? I know some people have said, the keys are noisy. Mm. <laughs> I don't see it myself. Okay. Yes, they're a little bit noisy, but nothing bad. Certainly uh, quieter than my desk keyboard in my office anyway. Right, thank you for watching. Sorry about the background there. There's even the washing in the background there. Toys and washing. What a dirty video. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.